What the heck is up you guys, it's your boy Ace aka Animated Heroes here back with another action figure review. Today we're going to be taking a look at none other than the SH Figure Arts Hell's Paradise Sagari Yamada Asaiman. And I know I probably butchered that in terms of how you pronounce it, but hey, this isn't a Japanese name pronunciation video, it's an action figure review. Now anyway, let's go ahead and get right into it, starting off with the sexy packaging. Now, just like Gabi Maru, as you can see, they did go with the slimmer box for the figure and all the accessories, which that makes me happy because it always saves shelf space. And I have Orochimaru's box beside her to show pretty much the standard size SH Figure Arts boxes. But when it comes to hers, as you can see, we got the window where you can see the figure and a lot of the accessories, a whole lot of colors going on here. And that is something that I really love about these packages, man. I love the colors. You got some pink some purple some blues some whites uh, all kinds of stuff you got this art style image of her right here and it's the figure kind of posed up sh figures to machinations bandai at the top we've got an image of her kind of smiling at the bottom we've got this kind of irritated look nothing much going on on this side i believe that's her name and kanji with the paint splashes um on this side we've got a full image of her and then this image just kind of comes over here and finishes up and then on the back you got some poses you can get the figure into some of the accessories and a bunch of stuff I can't read because I imported this. Now, anyway, let's go ahead and bust her out of the box because this is one I have been waiting on. Now, if you saw my Gabi Maru review, then you'll know I really, really enjoyed that figure. And I don't remember what I rated it, but in my opinion, it was pretty damn close to a 10 out of 10. And so far, straight out of the packaging, I'm feeling just about the same way about this figure. Now, I haven't gotten to the articulation or anything. This is a straight out of the packaging review. That's usually what I do. But man, this thing feels and looks nice. It legit looks like she walked right out of the anime now i can identify some problems that i think certain people are going to have with this figure it's going to be the same ones i said about the bleach figures that really didn't bother me because i mean we saw it in the promo images it's to be expected nothing's going to change but i'll get into that right now as we take a closer look at the figure now first things first the head sculpt i am loving it it really looks damn good man they did such a good job with the hair the face printing the eyes everything looks good it does kind of have like this uh chunky plastic look to it like there's a bit too much plastic used on this one but it doesn't look bad you just see it more so at the top of the hair right here not the sculpted bangs or anything as you can see i'm not sure how well it's showing up on camera but it does look like there's an extra bit of uh plastic chunks in there it doesn't look too bad the sculpt work is all uniform for the most part but uh just looking around you do see a few pieces now the ponytail looks really good um i'm loving what they did with this ribbon or whatever it is for her hair the only thing is this is not uh well actually it is articulated but it would have been better if it was on a hinge to where you could kind of tilt it down a little bit because as you can see it does kind of tug on the head and so i think if they would have used a sturdy double ball peg uh, for the head then it would stop that problem but you can still get it to look forward it's just sometimes it will tilt back you kind of gotta tuck it if you there we go. I don't know how to explain it. But basically, you got to move the head just right in order for it to sit. And for the most part, it's not going to go anywhere. But you will have those instances where this ponytail does pull her head back. So yeah, just be wary of that. Now, when it comes to the uh, kimono, everything is very flat man i do wish that there would have been some shading added to it now granted lighting is gonna make it look like it does have shading in certain areas especially along the sculpted wrinkles but it would have been better to actually have it uh still it looks very damn good man paint on this is very clean i don't really have any issues uh she's got the one glove on as you can see uh all the sculpted detail for the um I guess uh, waist wraps, whatever you want to call these. I don't know what it is, but it's basically holding her sword in place, which does rotate. So I'm happy about that. Very, very happy you can actually move that around. Let's see. I'm pretty sure it comes off. Does it? Um, I don't know. Uh, but I'm not going to pull on it anymore. Uh, but it probably does come off. When it comes to the legs, again, she does have that very bleach-ish style. So this doesn't look the greatest. And if you want to know what I mean by bleach-ish style, uh, here's Ichigo 
uh, a lot of people did not like these knees and they kind of work the same but again it doesn't really bother me because what could you do man these are some thick ass pants she's got on like what could you guys expect uh she still gets a decent amount of range and we'll cover more of that once we get to articulation but um yeah overall all the way down to the sandals she just she looks really good she feels very nice also so i'm digging this a whole lot so far whole whole lot now when it comes to her height, she's actually a pretty tall figure, not too big, but as you can see to the top of her head, she's right at six and a half inches, which is tall for most female characters. And of course I'll show some size comparisons a little bit later so we can see how she scales with other SH fig yards and some other lines that I sprinkle in here. Articulation wise, she looks up about that much, um, not too too much but she does look down very well just be aware that these bangs will bend and they're very thin so you don't want them to pop off but actually once you get her to look down it doesn't really sit just because of the fact that that ponytail is going to kind of pull her head back so yeah you gotta tuck it again like i was trying to say earlier but you gotta see it, it it's kind of flickering back and you got to pose it just right in order to get her to keep looking down. So, yeah, that's a bit of a problem. I do, again, wish this was on a hinge, but oh, well, what's done has been done. Um, now, you do get really good tilt turn. She can be very, very expressive. That's not going to be a problem. The arms move up and out very far. She can get way past a T-pose, so that is really damn good. Uh, once you move the sword out of the way, you can bring her arms in. Ooh, was not expecting that okay that is a ah man that's that joint that they used with the naruto figures where you gotta kind of push it in here and then tuck it down that went a whole lot easier than i thought it was going to though with the naruto figure i could not get that to work but um yeah anyway she can bring her arms in all the way so sword swinging poses no problem i'm so glad that didn't uh, become an issue. <laughs> That's dope. Anyway, she does have a swivel right there at the bicep. Double jointed elbows, but you get some gapping in there, so be wary of that. This is the first time I've seen that since Suguru, which is the JJK figure, so that kind of sucks. You can only really bend it out about this much before it becomes noticeable. Um, now, let's see. In here, she gets a swivel right where it starts at the wrist, so that's extra in there hands move around about that much so you're not really limited on hand movement at all that's not going to be a problem at the torso this is where i think we're going to experience a little bit of limitation because of this piece right here now she moves around about that much that is not a whole lot um it's just this piece right here is really going to restrict a lot of movement she leans back about that much forward about that much which isn't too bad uh she does get rocker and everything she can turn at the waist completely so that's good uh the sword again it's on something i'm sure that'll come off i'm just not going to take it off uh but it does move so i'm happy about that she kicks forward about that much so she can kick someone if she wants she cannot kick back because they sculpted a butt uh she kicks out about that much not a whole lot again uh she doesn't really get any kind of thigh swivel either it's just the way that they sculpt this there's going to be a whole lot of limitations but i don't think that's going to stop her from posing and we'll see in just a second single jointed knee double jointed range kind of i'm just gonna say single jointed range so nobody can complain but i mean it works well enough for me at the foot right here she does not have a swivel up in here but uh her foot can go left right up down uh really good ankle pivot and then she does have a toe hinge so articulation wise i think she's decent man i mean again you can really still get her in a ton of poses like if you want to get her in those sword swinging poses no problem you just maneuver those arms and then there you go and the legs for the most part work very fine it's coming apart just because i'm really finagling with it but you can pose her that's one thing i will definitely say and now that we've had a malfunction we'll move on to the next segment so just a little extra tidbit i want to throw in here that piece that just came off of the leg i actually took it off of the other leg too and I don't know what these are for. Uh, they don't really do anything. They don't help with articulation. They don't hurt it, but 
yeah, if you want to take these off, they are extra just pieces that have been put on here. And as you can see, I mean, they don't help with any gapping or anything. It still looks the same. So, yeah, I don't know what that's about, but just wanted to throw it in here. And also, just take a second to admire how good this figure looks in a vanilla pose. Like, she looks so badass. Now, when it comes to accessories, you don't really get a whole lot with her. I feel like you get the necessary amount, but there's always something extra that could be thrown in to spice things up a little bit. Now, anyway, she does come with this neutral expression and a pair of fist hands right out of the packaging. She does come with this, like, embarrassed type face. She comes with this smiling or happy face, which I love. She does come with this confused slash irritated kind of expression. And then last but not least, she comes with this uh frown where you can tell she's angry now it would have been cool if she would have came with like a teeth gritted or yelling face but i can understand why they didn't throw that in because if you watch or read hell's paradise the assignment are actually supposed to be in control of their emotions and they're supposed to remain neutral when they fight showing no kind of emotion or change in expressions to kind of balance out their attacks so that's why they didn't throw any kind of uh ex full of expression faceplate in there I I get it but it still would have been cool to have uh now she does also come with a pair of weapon holding hands she comes with a pair of uh relaxed hands and then she comes with a left hand for holding on to the sheath as you guys can see that's why the thumb is out and then last but not least she comes with her sword which is kind of plain but it still looks good i feel like it should be a little bit longer uh but still really good looking sword and that's pretty much all you get with her uh, I would have loved a sword slashing effect or something, but I don't know. Tamashi Nations wants us to buy their effect sets, and I think that's what we got to do at this point. Moving on to size comparisons, here she is standing next to the SH Figure Arts Gabi Maru, which is the most important one because this is her partner in the series. And as you can see, she is taller than him, as she is supposed to be. I feel like these two scale very well together. Now, if you watch my Gabi Mara review, then you'll know I said I could totally see characters from Hell's Paradise in Naruto. And even if it's just filler episodes, I feel like they look so good together, man. Which is exactly why I had to throw her in with a couple of them. Here we have her standing next to the SH Figure Arts Kid Naruto, the SH Figure Arts Revive Naruto line Naruto Shibuden Naruto, and then we have her standing next to the SH Figure Arts Kakashi Sensei. And as you can see, she is just as tall as Kakashi, which which once again emphasizes what I said earlier. She's a very tall figure, man. Here she is standing next to some other SH Figure Arts. We have her standing next to the SH Figure Arts One Piece Monkey D. Luffy. We have her standing next to the SH Figure Arts Bleach Thousand Year Blood War Ichigo Kurosaki. And of course, the SH Figure Arts Jujutsu Kaisen Greatness Yuji Itadori. Mixing it up a bit, here she is standing next to the SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball Super CGI Goku, the Figma Jujutsu Kaisen Greatness Honored One Satoru Gojo, and the Revel Tech My Hero Academia Todoroki Shoto. Lastly, for some extras, here she is standing next to a Metacom toy or Mafex Black Suit Spider-Man slash Symbiote Suit Spider-Man, a Jada Toy Street Fighter Fei Long, and a Marvel Legends Amazing Fantasy Spider-Man. Now, when it comes to my final thoughts, I gotta say, it is a bit of a bland figure, but saying that, I also have a question for you. When has something being bland stopped it from being enjoyable it's not the most exciting figure to add to your collection unless you're just an absolute fan of the character but it is definitely a fun figure nonetheless i enjoy this a whole lot because i've been a fan of this series long before they even announced the anime this is one i was rooting for from the jump and i said the same thing when i reviewed gabi maru hell's paradise is such a joy and while i gotta say the anime was wasn't exactly the best adaptation it was still a fun watch and i'm still waiting on season two but for those of you who kind of liked it but you weren't completely satisfied i'd say check out the manga it's already over go ahead and read through it if you decide to do so something like that might make you enjoy this character more and make you want this release but overall i think it's solid i like everything about this figure there's nothing in particular that i dislike other than what they did with the hair now as you can see see it's holding up just 
fine right now. We can get her in those dynamic poses where her hair is blowing and it's gonna look nice. And something like that is really all that matters to me. It does suck that it kind of maneuvers the head around from time to time when you don't want it to, but that's really the only issue. Her legs move around well enough. Would have been cool to have a true thigh swivel in there, but I haven't been posing this figure around and been unable to get it into a pose that I want. So this is another one I enjoy. It's not gonna make top 10 or anything like that, but it's still just cool to have in my collection. Now, overall, hope that you guys enjoyed this review. If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That always helps me out. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Make sure to hit that bell icon to be notified whenever I upload new content. And last but not least, follow me on everything you see listed in the description below to keep up with my activity outside of YouTube. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe wherever you are and uh, bye.